Hello students, welcome to your computer class. I am your computer sir Anil. In today's class, I am going to start your first chapter. Computers, Storage and Memory Device These days, the concept of cloud storage is gaining popularity. Then what is this cloud storage? Why it is gaining popularity? What is the use of this cloud storage? To store the data, we use hard disk, CDs and pen drives. But without the need of pen drive, CD or hard disk, we can store our data over the internet. This process is known as cloud storage. We don't need any physical storage devices such as hard disk, CD and pen drive. We can store our data. We can maintain, manage our data over the internet rather than the hard disk cd and pen drive this is known as cloud storage and once you store your data over the internet you can access it by sitting anywhere this is what the use of cloud storage and who provides this facility who are the providers dropbox one drive google drive these are the providers of free cloud storage facility this is known as cloud storage and use of cloud storage students so here we are talking about the memory now this is the small exercise part uh, name at least two units of measurement for each of the following units of measurement at least two you should mention for example weight Units of measurements are gram, kilogram for distance, centimeter, meters, capacity, liters, milliliter for temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Computer is an electronic device that works according to the instructions given by us. So computer computer it is an electronic device because without elect electricity we can't o o operate with the computer okay so it needs electricity to work and again it works according to the instructions given by the user that is we we people it has the ability to accept data in the form of raw facts and figures such as numbers characters other symbols so computer it accepts data what is data data it is anything it may be a number or a character other symbol so computer it accepts data that is number character other symbol with the help of input devices so these are nothing but inputs and these numbers or characters or other symbols are the raw facts and figures we used to call these numbers characters or other symbols raw facts and figures because they don't have any meaning because once cpu it processes then only it these raw facts gets meaning so these are meaningless now they don't have any meaning it becomes meaningful only after processing by a computer once you enter number characters other symbols it becomes this becomes meaningful only when processed by the computer that is cpu the process data which has a proper meaning it is called information so once your computer the cpu it processes the data which is entered by you so the processed data which gets the meaning and it is known as information okay see here data which doesn't have any meaning such as number character other symbol which you enter once it processed it gets the meaning so the combination of data plus meaning is known as information.
combination of data and meaning it is known as information but the data it gets meaning only after processing so combination of data and meaning is known as information here we have difference between data and information for example marks obtained by a student in five subject for example per subject 100 it means five subject is 500 this is data so marks obtained by a student in five subjects each this is data for example 500 now what is information this is now currently it is data now what is information percentage of marks can be calculated by dividing the total marks by 5 so 500 divided by 5 if you calculate you will get the percentage 100 percentage so this is information only marks it is data and once you calculate the percentage that is known as information in the the second one price of a product and quantity of a product for example you have three pens this is the quantity and the price for each pen it is five so these are the data here so once you multiply the price with the quantity you will get five three is a 15 so this is known as information these are the data after multiplying only we get the result right so this is known as information the process data which becomes information this is unprocessed data only so it is known as raw facts or figure this is information input devices are used to enter data which which is then processed by central processing unit so input devices which are used to enter data like keyboard with the help of keyboard you can enter data and the enter data which processes in CPU central processing unit the processed information can then be displayed or printed using the output device so once the CPU processes the data it displays displays the result using output devices as a monitor for example if you want to add 2 plus 3 so you will use input device keyboard with the help of keyboard you will enter this data and CPU it adds it processes 2 plus 3 after processing it displays the result with the help of monitor 2 plus 3 5 so you enter the data with the help of keyboard this is input device CPU it processes here later finally you will get the result in the output device here we have relationship between data and information see input the data which you enter with the help of input device such as keyboard here processing of data for example 2 plus 3 you enter with the help of input device now it processes it calculates it processes and results and displays 2 plus 3 5 here okay a computer needs memory to store data and instructions that are used during processing so students here while processing during processing computer it needs memory to store the data and instruction here for example 2 plus 3 2 and 3 are the data and plus is the instruction so to store the data and instruction computer it requires memory right to store it so now here we will study about memory measuring memory what is memory and how we measure computers memory measuring memory there are various units such as gram and kilogram for measuring weights meter kilometer for measuring distance similarly there are units for measuring computer memory okay we have units of measurement for for example gram kilogram for weight for weight we have unit of measurement for those are gram kilogram and meter and kilometer for distance 
in the same way for measuring the computer memory we have units we'll study those now computer is an electronic machine and can understand, understand only two states on it which is represented by one and off which is represented by zero computer as i already explained it is an electronic machine and it understand only two states that is on and off and those are represented by one and zero okay the language of zeros and one okay the language this zeros and one it is understood by the computer it is known as binary language very important computer it understand only the binary language that is zeros and ones the data is stored in the computer memory in the form of zeros and ones which are called bits or binary digits see students computer it understand only zeros and ones so our data which is stored which stores in our computer in the form of bits or binary digits those are nothing but zeros and ones form thus bit is the smallest unit of measuring computer memory so what is the smallest unit of measuring computer memory it is bit bit it is the smallest unit of measuring computer's memory the capacity of a computer memory can also be expressed in terms of bytes a combination of eight bits makes up one byte there are other bigger units of measuring memory here we have so the smallest unit of measuring computer memory is bit so combination of eight bits become one byte eight bits equal to one byte in the same way such thousand twenty four bytes will become one kilobyte such thousand twenty four kilobyte it will become one mb that is megabyte okay in the same way thousand twenty four megabyte equal to one gigabyte thousand twenty four gigabyte equal to one terabyte thousand twenty four terabyte equal to one petabyte thousand twenty four petabyte equal to one exabyte 1024 exabyte equal to 1 jettabyte 1024 jettabyte equal to 1 yottabyte so these are the units of measurement small for from smallest to bigger smallest unit of measurement is bit and here the biggest is yottabyte yottabyte 1024 jettabyte it will become one yettabyte okay in the next class i'll explain types of memory in computers now this is enough for today students if you have any doubts let me know here have a nice day